Hello everyone and welcome to the podcast. My name is David Bowen and today we're going to be talking about none other than Ada Lovelace. She was a very brilliant mathematician. She was very educated in science as well. She was the first uh, computer programmer per se. She never actually got to see her applications being used. Uh, but she did write the first algorithm that could be used on a computer that was later proved to be correct. Um, and today we're going to talk about her. I have some uh, splash screens and some uh, screenshots, stuff like that, pictures to show you guys uh, while I narrate over that. Um, so just stay tuned and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this podcast and it's going to be a lot of fun. So we're going to start by talking about a little bit about the heritage and the birth and death of Ada Lovelace. Uh, she was born as Augusta Ada Byron. Uh, she later started being known as Ada Lovelace. She also had a few other aliases people knew her as, and that would be things like Augusta the King and the Countess of Lovelace. She was she died on November 27th, 1852, at the age of 36 from cancer. Um, because of all of her contributions to programming and mathematics, uh, being the world's first computer programmer per se by developing the first algorithm processed by a machine. She's actually celebrated now. Uh, she has her own holiday per se, and that is in October where people kind of just, you know, it's a very new holiday. People look back and, you know, just remember all the contributions and, you know, a lot of things that we wouldn't have if it wasn't for her. Um, many of her biggest um, contributions other than working with uh, Babbage so closely and developing the first algorithm is how she was such a visionary. And by that, basically, that means that she um, knew what, she pretty much knew what the future was going to be. She predicted graphic design, she predicted music, and all these other um, industries would be used by computers, basically would be developed by computers, that any data could be manipulated by numbers, not just, you know, numbers didn't just manipulate quantities, they could also manipulate data and bring, you know, compose music and things like that. So I want to make sure I hit all the points that I need to hit for this, because uh, it's actually for a school assignment at Full Sail University. Um, the first question is, what was their biggest contribution, something they created out of thin air, did they succeed or others failed? Kurt, she's a very special case, um, because she didn't actually create it out of thin air per se, but she worked with someone else and they created that up there. Uh, for the biggest breakthroughs, what outside forces made it popular? Well, she was born into a very wealthy family. Her father was a poet and her mother was a mathematician as well. And her mother wanted to make sure she um, would become a mathematician rather than a poet because her dad had a bad reputation. And so she basically made sure she was tutored by all the best people, got all the best you know, tutors and stuff like that. So what led up to and followed them? Who was inspired by them and, or who inspired them and who was inspired by them? She was probably, her biggest inspiration probably came from her mother. And then after that, you know, just all of her tutors and she was inspired by Babbage, of course. And I mean, almost all mathematicians and females alike are inspired by her today. So guys, I want to definitely go ahead and encourage you to check her out. She was a very inspirational and very just great woman and mathematician. Um, so if you have, you know, any questions or anything like that, you can feel free to leave a comment in this video. Uh, but like I said, definitely check her out. But that's all the time I have for today. So I want to thank you all so much for watching this. Uh, and just have a great day.